Hey there, Comic Junkies. Mikey here, and welcome back to the Comic Junkies Corner Tuesday edition, where we talk about trailers and all kinds of upcoming projects. And today's trailer that we're going to talk about is Star Trek Discovery. I believe Star Trek Discovery is the sixth installment in the TV series. This is actually following the TV series, not the movie series. I had to look that look at that earlier uh, just to be sure because I wasn't. Even though the the movies do technically still have the same canon as the TV shows. This is set in the TV show universe. It's supposed to be set 10 years before the first series actually came, um, the first Star Trek series came out uh, with Captain Kirk and Spock and, you know, all the ones you are pretty familiar with by this point. But it's set after Enterprise, and I do have to say, I've never seen Enterprise. I've heard it started really good, and then it kind of went downhill after. I can't confirm or deny that because I've never seen it. Um, honestly, I hate to say it, but I kind of forgot about it after it came out. Um, but I, I'd seen the trailers and stuff for it, and I was just like, oh, I might check this out. Because the realistically, I have seen some of the, the original series, but it didn't interest me for some reason. Uh, when um, I started watching... Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, that's when I really, really got on board. And I was just, you know, with Captain Picard and, and, G and Gordy. And I was just, man, I was just, I was all about some, some Next Generation. <laughs> um, and then Deep Space Nine and all the other ones came. And I was just kind of like, eh, I just didn't, it didn't do the same for me as the next generation did and i think it may just be a, a generational thing you know no pun intended just like i think it may just be a generational thing kind of like with star wars like how there's people that really prefer the prequels over the over the original trilogy or whatever or however you want to call it they prefer one two and three over four five and six um I'll never understand that, but you know that's just one of those things. It's like I, we grew up on it. I know the 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 the, pre, the prequels have their flaws, a lot of them, but you know that's neither here nor there. But like I said, I I exclusively was a Star Trek Next Generation watcher. Um, I do remember some little tidbits about the original series. I remember some of the original mo uh, the the movies. Um, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. And I know this is supposed to take uh, the Star Trek Discovery is supposed to take place uh, regarding the events of something that's been talked about a lot in the in the series, but never been truly explored. It's an event incident that happened. It's going to explore that. And it's, you know, basically going to I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how long this incident's going to last. It may just be like a one to two season thing deal. And that would kind of make sense. Because I have to say, this freaking show, this trailer for the show, the set design, the the makeup, the the pro, like everything looks beautiful, like movie quality beautiful. Like I want to go to like I feel like I should be going to the cinemas to see it. <laughs> beautiful, like really, really pretty. And I, I just I was just kind of blown away by that. I was just like, this is a TV budget. This is CBS, <laughs> no less. This is CBS. I'm like, wow, they 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 did a really good job. I hope that's not just for the trailer, <laughs> but you know, I'm like, I'm looking at, it, I'm like, man, they did a really really good job, and it looks really good. It looks really pretty. Um, the only thing that kind of upsets me is the whole like. Where was that budget for Supergirl? <laughs> you know, it's just like you have like you know have the Klingons and stuff, and you have the this new the the USS Discovery and how all that looks nice and shiny and crisp and clear, and you know we get this for Red Tornado for Supergirl. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> you know, the, the same strong female leads, man. Come on, give give, give Supergirl something. But you know, Supergirl's over at the CW now. But yeah, it just gotta say it looks really good um it does have uh, it does have a level of interest because you see that there's some definitely something that's going on um you have michelle yao's character i'm not sure who she plays but um you have michelle yao's character i'm glad to see her back in uh something uh, i'm glad to see her back in something because i haven't seen her in a long time i know she's probably done a lot of foreign films and stuff like that um but i she was one of my favorite action stars and um just you know, foreign stars in like the 90s ish. And then I kind of like strayed away from 
from I think I strayed away from movies for a while, so I didn't have the I didn't like I hadn't seen her in a while. Then I saw her in the trailer. I was like, oh hey Michelle, yeah, I haven't seen her forever. So it's cool, and she's stepping down and uh, giving the new captain a the the helm and everything. But it looks like some serious stuff is about to happen. So you don't you don't know if like okay is it a coincidence that she's stepping down right now or or stepping back or whatever. So I don't know. I do know, like, it's definitely got me intrigued. It just kind of dropped enough hints to where I'm just like, I'm intrigued. I, I want to see this. I do want to see this. I think I do get CBS on my antenna. <laughs> yes, I have an antenna. <laughs> uh, I don't use cable because I usually watch I watch everything on the internet, Netflix, and stuff like that. So, it, like, I don't have cable because I've never really had a need to get it. So... I, if I if I think I'm pretty sure it picks it up so if it picks it up hey I'm, I'll check it out and see how it is I hope it's really good because it looks really good I hope this the content is as good as the visuals because the visuals look really really good what do you guys think about the Star Trek Discovery trailer are you excited about it or whatever you think put it down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I do these videos as often as possible every time something new surfaces and the next topic I do want to talk about however is the upcoming Venom movie so that will be next Tuesday thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one